Hi friends, welcome back to Laravel A tutorial. In this video, we will going to discuss about HTTP session. Since HTTP driver applications are stateless, session provides a way to store information about user across multiple requests. If we check in our project directory, inside the config, we will get the session.php. By default, you can see the driver file is set, means by default session will save in file. So here we can see the session can be saved in file, in cookies, database, APC, memcache, redis, dynamodb array. So we have these options to store sessions. By default, Laravel provides session driver as file and we can set the session lifetime means here 120 and expire on close is false means so when you close our application the session will not destroy and is encryption type is false and here you can see the files is storage path framework sessions that means our all session file is storing in the framework session folder so let's check our project directory so here this is my block project and this is my project directory so you will get the session in the storage folder and after that framework and there you will get the sessions folder so in the session folder you can see there are already five files already created so it will create a laravel by default so here we can see the file is storing so this file store with the session information so now let's create a controller and we'll see how we can access session through controller so to create controller we need to use php artisan make controller suppose my controller name is session controller okay my controller is created successfully and just refresh this and you will go app http and inside the http there is a controller and you will get the session controller so this is my session controller so we just create it and let's run the project so php artisan serve okay so project started so now this is my session controller and i will create a method to access sessions so first i will create a function that is suppose i'm creating public function and suppose my function name is get session okay and here i am using the request and i am storing the request in the request variable okay so this is my function so in this function we will check if i have any session already stored then will display otherwise it will say the session is not stored so first we will check the session is already exist or not so write if request session and has so has will check the session is already exist or not suppose my session variable name is channel okay so this will check if the session channel is exist or not so if exist i will print the session value so to print session value we need to use request session and after that we need to use the get and my session variable so here my session variable is channel okay and if the session variable is not exist so i'll simply write session not exist okay so let's call this function throughout so just go to the routes folder and web.php so first we need to register our controller here so just use use and the namespace so app http controllers and after that our class name so my class name is session controller so i have registered our session controller here and now I am going to create a route so here my route is route 
colon colon get and suppose my url is get session so here i am writing the get session and after that my controller name colon colon class and we to provide the methods name so here my method name is get session okay so we just provide the get session here so now if we run this so what will be the output so just go to the browser and go to this url get session oh, sorry so here a mistake so this is the session method so just refresh this page and here you can see the session not exist so i can see the session is not exist so first add a session so to store a session we need to use public function suppose my method name is store session okay and i'm using the request and i'm taking it as dollar request and to store session we need to use dollar request and session and after that we need to use the put function here so using put we can set session so i am taking the session variable as a channel and i am going to add the value that is learning points okay and after that i am printing suppose echo session is told okay and we we'll to call this function so just call this from routes so in the same way just copy this and here the method name is store session so just use this store session and the url is store so if we click on this store session so session will be store so our session variable name will be the channel and the value is learning points so just go to this url store session so just open the browser and enter this so session is stored and now if we check the previous url so my previous url was get session so if we check this url again so now my session is stored and just refresh it so here we can see the value of the session that is learning points so here in the controller i have stored in the channel we have set the learning points and from another function i am getting the value from this session value so now we can understand how to create and how to print and how to check session value so now we need to learn how to delete session so to delete i am creating another function that is public function and my method name is delete session okay so here i will also taking the request that is request and this is a function so delete session we need to use the request and we need to use the session method and after that we need to use the forgot okay so forgot and i need to add our session variable name that is channel okay so here you can see to check session we need to use the hash to get the session value we need to use the gate method and to store we need to use the put and for delete we need to use the forward channel so after that i am writing the echo session value deleted okay so just register this function in the routes so just copy this and here my method name is delete session so write it here and i am storing the path that is delete session so just go to this delete session and here sorry or i have misspelled so here the forgot so it will be the forget so just refresh this 
so here you can see the session value deleted so if we rerun our the previous so just use the gate session so now you can see session not exist means our session is deleted so it's all about laravel http session please comment if you have any queries next video i will discuss about how to create custom 404 page in laravel and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video bye bye